can you believe this episode right here is the penultimate of season one? It's absolutely flown by, hasn't it? That's what no continental or no cup football does to you. But still, the challenge is at large. We need to try and retain our place in this league as welcome back people to episode number seven of season number one of this Schalke 04 series and yes if you haven't seen where we left off make sure you go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one smash the subscribe button down below and yeah the notification bell as well so you don't miss the future ones including in two days time the new Seven, uh, series season we're not off of Schalke just yet we've got a lot of rebuilding to do as it proves because we're sat in 11th in the league 26 points level with Munch and Gladbach and one ahead of our first opponents today so spoiler alerts for the previous games they are on screen right there to 1-0 narrow wins against relegation rivals Werder Bremen and Bochum Europa League uh, pushers as then Leipzig were brushed aside 1-0, well, we were brushed aside, should I say. And today we have Freiburg away from home on the 26th. We have Frankfurt on Saturday the 5th of March. Then Mönchengladbach, who are close to us. Then Hoffenheim. Bayern Leverkusen. And we might try and stick Union Berlin in. We might just try that. Simulate that one just at the end. So then we've got six games done today. We leave five for the finale, as I think we are going to be playing Freiburg. Uh, oh, we've played Freiburg already, actually, haven't we? I might play these three games in this month and simulate the ones around it. I think that's the way to go. I think that would be quite a sensible thing to do, as Simon Terode. You've earned a place in the team. I don't know if you're straight into it, though, because we've got some tired players. But the striker position is not one who's tired. We might get him on the bench for Chernilov. Although Adamu is a little bit tired himself. How long have we got till the game? As it's actually game day. So, I think I've picked my squad for now. We've uh, rotated and reshuffled the bench. We're giving two or three players a rest. Radzowski, Adamu and Aydin all come out. Just resting. Just changing it up. As the team for the first game is this for Freiburg. Simulated, of course. We've got Freisel in goal. Max Stoh, Itakura and Tiao. With Sanchez at right wing back. He's still training be a right wing back not just there yeah as Latza Zalazar sits back I know it's not his best position but he's gonna do it with Weijan at left wing back Schwartz is in attacking midfield with Tarot and Pieringer the duo up front we've got Ramfdal back on the bench Idrizzi and Drexler both on the bench they were players that I didn't consider anywhere near the team at the start but there they are as actually Pieringer's on loan from Freiburg isn't he so I can't really play him I can't do that, it's unrealistic. You can't play against your actual parent club. So, Trzinski on the bench. Chernilov will go up front with Taro. Yeah, we'll do it realistically. Because I think I did play him last time against Freiburg. Big mistake. You, you're in real life not allowed to play against the team you're on loan from. As, let's see what we can do away from home. It's a 2-0 win, nevertheless. Antonio Sanchez from right wing back. And Zalazar from midfield. We actually get the better of Freiburg away from home. A lot of players happy after that last game. Four of them coming to speak to me as senior player returns from injury. Victor Palsen is back into training. That's good as we are 10th in the league. We're actually shooting up now. And uh, we're still a bit off Frankfurt who we play today of course. And Hoffenheim we play as well. 11 points off Europe. Imagine if we actually snuck in though, what an achievement that would be. Of course, I don't believe in that at all, as we're going to promote another youth player just for the objectives. Theodore Schulze, the left midfielder slash centre forward, will be promoted to the senior squad. He's 18 and he's 59 rated, which is decent. The other 18 year olds don't look too cracking at the moment, but we'll keep them in the academy. I feel like he's a decent one to have in, as Frankfurt in seventh. This could be. A huge game. If we actually get the win here, it would be very good. We've kept three clean sheets out of our last four, which is amazing. And, of course, Leipzig just narrowly beaten 1-0. I'm kind of quietly confident going into this next game. We've been playing very, very well. And I think it's got to be the same team after the victory. We'll put Adamo on the bench. Schultz, I don't think he's going anywhere really near the squad. Chernilov didn't play too great. So maybe I take Chernilov for Pierringer. Adamo on the bench. Uh, can we fit any of these boys in off here? I mean, Channel Oglu or Ramftal. We'll take Ramftal off for Aydin. Uh, Radzowski, Idrizzi. Hmm. 
I don't know which one really to swap. I think I'm just going to go for Radzowski. Just for experience at this uh, stage of the season. But it is the same starting squad apart from Pierre Inga. Which will go into this next game. Trusting Salazar in the centre midfield spot. Attacking although in defensive midfield. And it worked out great for him. So here we go to the Ultras of Frankfurt. At the Veltins Arena though. And let's see Eintracht's team. Kevin Trapsel in goal. Ndika Holgate in Ilsaka. Kostic Adiemi, Sawan Chandler. Kamada Hernandez. And Bore caught all the names first time round right there. They've got a good front three. Good, well, decent bench, I would say. Gonna be a bit of a struggle. Another three at the back team with their full backs pushed, or wing backs, should I say, pushed very high forward. Basically midfielders as Zalazar receives the ball in the midfield. Tony Schwartz dropping back a little bit. Now Latza waits for the run down this wing of Antonio Sanchez. In the middle to Latza again. We just need to keep pushing forward and that's a good ball. Down the line as Pierre Inga's in the middle and it's just wide. Good positive start. At least now we have two strikers on the field who I trust both can score goals as that's a good ball over the top. Kostic matched though with a great challenge. Got comments talking about maybe him in the centre of the defence. It's, it's not a bad shout. You know Itakura is only on loan. So Max Stowe could probably go in the centre maybe next season at the start as Pierre Inga through to Tarode. He tries to keep the ball robbed last minute. Unlucky for him as Kamada goes backwards into Adeyemi. Now Kamada again. That's a ball through the middle. Kostic with a good run past as Itakura reads it. Definitely a pass back, but of course they're not given in this game, so we'll play on. Max Stowe down the line into Antonio Sanchez. Now Toro, Schwartz making the run ahead of him, and he's got pace. The defender's on his back still, tries to cut away. And we're playing on here as I think a man's gone down. Yes, Tony Schwartz is down on the field, and that's not a good sign. It must be a crucial one as well. I don't see him back on his feet anywhere. We might be uh, losing our youth player. Of course, we've just promoted another as Kamada's found himself through. And he's hit the post behind the net. And yes, unlucky number 13 strikes for once. Unfortunate for Tony Schwartz, but he will be withdrawn as Drexler. Got his header forward. He's now on the field, of course. As we'll try and keep that, but he's run straight into danger. Vincent Bore down the line. 25 minutes in. It's an even game. Both teams having chances. So I'm pretty sure that's the Hernandez, the Cuco Hernandez from Watford. As Kamada puts that through and that's a poor shot. They've had the chances and we certainly have as well as Toro. Cuts away from his man down the line into Antonio Sanchez. He will play it back through the gap. Toro trying to keep it alive. Knocked to the floor. We've got the ball out to Sanchez who lifts one in last minute. Toro! Saved by Trap. Good header from Toro. Very, very close as the corner ball will be whipped in towards Ita Curver and hasn't reached the centre back, but we're on a bit of a bit of a good patch in the game right there. As that's a good ball. Focused in drilling that in. Not worked. Tad unlucky as Bore down the line into Hernandez. Bore gets it back. And Kamada. He goes backwards. Just can't rub the ball off him. But Sanchez into Latza. Now we try and move forward. To row round to Pieringer. He keeps it away from his men. Now Latza. It's a good ball down the line. We'll try and switch this in first time. Sanchez near post to road. Scores. The big striker easily there at the front post to just knock that in past the keeper. And we lead against seventh place Frankfurt in what could potentially be a European playoff game. It's a really good cross from Antonio Sanchez who is really on form. And to road, fair to say, he was never missing that one. His 8th Bundesliga game in 17 games. I mean, we'd like a more consistent striker, but he'll do as all the strikers are scoring, really, as Freisel wins his race for the ball. And there is the half-time whistle. 1-0 up at the Veltins Arena. Very good game for us. Of course, we will try and keep him front as so. Through to Bore. Hernandez drops that back. We're just chasing shadows a little bit here, but Kamada has it. Salazar trying to get the ball off him. Through to Kostic. And blocked by Machto. Okay, they're going to come out the blocks and try and attack us a bit more. As Kostic, straight shot to Kamada. He's ran past us as well. He's running through the middle. Zalazar slides the block. Edge of the box. Adeyemi through. Blocked from us. And so into Kamada. Bore. That's red. But Zalazar's pass is terrible. And Bore again. That's gone through us. Kamada now. onto Kostic. Kamada. Big block. Machto. And the overhead kick has hit the side netting. We live another day. But I tell you what, Frankfurt are doing very well in this game. Zalazar across. 
It's into Weijan. Weijan drops it off in the middle. Pierre Inger, that's down the line. Tarot's at the near post. Stretches his leg out to try and get it, but just away from him as Kucho has to pass it back. We're going to keep trying to survive and counter in this one. Very interesting game, this one, but of course, counter attacking is what we're trying to do as Tiao gets there first. Pass straight into Zalazar. Red, though, and Sal to come away with it. Sebe into Ndika. Now straight forward. Tried to get a tackle in. Missed it. Bore through. One on one. It's gone through Freisel. And so has us level with 14 minutes to go. Good strike. The killer ball through the centre of the park that's done us in. Just skips away from Itakura. Through. And over the top of Freisel. Disappointing one to concede that one. Unlucky as Kamada. Into Cucho Hernandez who skipped past us there. And he's gone for a shot. You can see we are holding on. Ten minutes to go now, and Frankfurt with another big chance. So we've got to stop this corner. If we get three points here, the dream's still tightly alive. But if we lose, which we are doing now, it looks like it might go. Chandler, the captain, at the back post to put them in the lead. It's a big shame to concede that one just through. Just across the box, through the legs of one of our players and tapped in in the middle. Such a shame. Antonio Sanchez goes backwards into match toe. Of course, we've put uh, Adamu on for Toro now, trying to get that pace in the last couple of minutes. But Frankfurt have been very, very good in this second half. They're keeping their dreams alive by shattering ours. And we've got two minutes before stoppage time. Ball down the side into Kostic. Itakura chasing him. It's around the side. Kamada tried to slide in. Edge of the box. It's gone all the way. So with a shot. And ball given our way somehow. I don't think we've got enough time. Freisel's just going to absolutely hammer this down the field as he tries to. Header not won. Straight through. But the final whistle goes. It's a 2-1 defeat at home. Quality shone through in the end. The second half did us in. Continental football hopes are gone. But still, survival was the aim. Just didn't work out in the end for us. As the financial targets keep going on as Tony Schwartz... Has suffered an ACL ligament or ACL injury. Seven months without our youth player who was shining so bright this season. And we've lost him for almost a season entirely. That is absolutely dreadful news. It gives other players a chance, but I'd rather have him. Gutting stuff, as I think I am going to rotate the team before the next game. And I think we've got with three, no, with two games down today. So we should have eight games left or nine and well i can just figure it out right here 17 34 yes nine games as a uh, 10th in the league we are five points off further brain and safety is definitely far from secured as we're going to try and simulate on get to this next game against borussia mönchengladbach who have slightly underperformed themselves this season as victor palson wants to be in ferndy place palson is fit dominic drexler still wants to play I know what you can do, Antonio Sanchez. I'm going to say it's a team game. I think he takes a rest. As the team for the next one is this one. We've got Palsen back in. Weijan still a left wing back. Aydin is now in for Sanchez. Give him a rest. With Zalazar back in Cam. Adamu supports Toro this time. We'll go for pace from the offset as Pierre goes a little bit tired as well. That is the team for Munch and Gladbach. Confident, but after that last performance, I know we're going to have to learn to hang on. We're above them in the league. See what we can do away at Borussia Park. For a second there, I thought it was a conference league with the green. As Sommer, Elvedi, Fredericks, and Ginter. Roger Turam, Stindl, Newhouse, Plia, Herman, and Divock Origi. We have played these before, actually. I thought we hadn't. We have, and we came close to beating them. That's right. Last minute penalty by Latza didn't work out for us. That's when we were in a lot more danger than we are right now. So hopefully, pressure is relieved for the big man as Zalazar. With a turn right there. we just got to freely keep playing our game. Yes, it's we, we're not safe. We're not safe by a long shot. But we've just got to play how we are. There's teams in more perilous positions than us. Including the side we face today. The side they have, they should be a lot better. As it looks like Origi's left Liverpool for Borussia Mönchengladbach colours. Of course, he is leaving in real life uh, by the presentation that was given to him on the final game of the season. As straight into Tiao right there. And Palsen forward onto Adamu. Just can't keep it. And Stindl through the middle. Maxto can't control it. Plia's got it. 
and Plia finishes it magnificently into the top bin. A mistake from Machto at the back. Leads the Frenchman to put Munch and Gladbach 1-0 up at home. Poor defending, I must say. It was just that horrific touch. Then he left Itakura for it. Itakura didn't go. Mix up at the back. Has put us 1-0 down. Not the greatest. A mistake from him as through to Adamu right here. Now we've got to try and grow into the game away from home, which I hate to try and do. As Oswijan keeps it back to Adamu. That's a good pass round him. Toro's in the middle. We'll go for Adamu again. Now Palson. One more on to this wing. There we go. Ideen to whip a ball in. It was a decent one, but defender easily at it. Fredrich across the middle of the park. Ginter can't get that. Zalazar does. And Toro tries to turn it in the middle right there. Out to Latza. He goes for a finish. Blocked from Elvedi for a corner. He's usually the one who sticks his arms out and handballs it. As that's a good header and a save. From Jan Sommer. Adamu with it. Right. Another corner ball though. And Latza. Just hooking one in there. Itakura to keep it alive onto Adamu. Now it'll fall for Itakura. Roger with a block. It falls here for a spinning shot from Tiao. Bit optimistic from him. I can't lie. As Newhouse cuts inside. Divock Origi through the middle. Herman. Straight through Freisel. As soon as he signed that contract you know. Or he had two decent clean sheet games. But after that. Got a little bit worse for wear. Easy finish for Herman. It's gone straight through us for 2-0. Not a good performance. But again, quality of players shining through. All it does for me is show that we need to make some signings in the summer. I think we've got a big squad strengthening session ahead of us. As hopefully we have money for that. Divock Origi through into Ideen. Latza now into Palson. We'll try and go forward. We'll try and sneak down this right-hand side this time. Ball through to Ideen. Can we keep on going? We can. Cross into the box. Free as a birdie to Damu. And it's saved at the near post by Jan. Very good goalkeeper, of course. As we'll whip this in. Front post. Adamu again off the crossbar. And no one there to just tap it down. Unlucky again. Ideen keeps this alive. Into Latza. To row through the middle. Zalazar. Palson. He's going to keep it alive. That's flashed out to Latza around the corner. Whip this in, please, Ideen. Corner. Well to win that one as we'll run near post. Adamu looks the big threat from the corners, but this is going towards Tarode. Big Simon Tarode. He flawed his man as well. Almost half time as Roger Machdo with the block. Ideen tries to keep it alive and he's handled it. He's not having a great time at the moment, is he? As a ball to try and possibly whip in right here. We'll get his wall ready to run. Jumped over it, Stindle and wide. As the halftime whistle goes, we are 2-0 down. Improvement required, as it's the first time I've seen that stat against us. 100% dribble success rate for Munch and Gladbach. It's a weird stat, but it's one that I've just seen as Simon Turode on the ball straight away. Into Latza. We've got a big half ahead of us. Can we do what Frankfurt did to us? Of course, our task is harder. Newhouse. Hits him straight in the face. It's telling us to make changes. Not yet. Not yet. Because Tarot can head a ball. But it's not going towards him. Adamu again. And Elvedi away. Can we get that edges? There we go. Itakura. Zalazar around the corner. Shot from Ideen is blocked. Newhouse. With a throw in right there. Into Manu Kone off the bench now. As that's a pass into the middle. Tiao. Not the best clearance. Roger on the ball. Plie. Makes it three. We are making the mistakes ourselves. And it's costing us. Paul wants more from us. Just round the corner. Just an interceptor ball. It's Tiao. It's Machdo. It's Itakura. It's any of them. The little mistakes here and there just aren't good enough as Palson through the middle. Adamu. Drexler. Here we go. Toro. We need four goals or three just to get a leveller. As Latza is going to whip that in. Can we get there? We do. But wide. Clear. Goes backwards into Rosalek, who chips that over the top four. Plie again. What can we do right here? Just try and block him off. Rosalek goes backwards. Turam. Now Herman into Plier. We're chasing shadows a little bit right here. It's getting worse for wear. Manu Kone. Origi. Big save. Freisel on the turn. And we live another day. But I don't think we'll live for very long. 3-0 and they're still attacking. Tarodi's off now for Hoffenheim. Of course. Rest him. As it's to Ginter on the edge. Maxto with the block. We're chasing this down. We don't get there. Turam. Four. It's 4-0. Four We've been very poor here against Gladbach. Not good. Not good at all. Just not cleared in time. 
They get it on the edge, through the middle, and just through bodies. Freisel's had no chance. And I'm going to experiment with the team a little bit now. Weijan in midfield and Channel Oglu at right wing, or left wing, but should I say, is the next change I will make as Latza through to Pieringer cuts away a little bit. Drexler, Adamu out wide. Weijan to whip that in back post. Header is very poor, but it's hit the hand of Frederick. A penalty again against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Do not put Latza on it. It is Pieringer. It's not even got as good as penalties of uh, as, um, what do you call it, Latza. Is it going to be our day at all? It is. I have no idea how that's gone in. Sommer dived very low, but we've got a goal. No point in seeing that replay as well. It's only a consolation. 4-1 the score sits at. As we made that change, of course, it's gone through now. Manu Kone puts the ball out wide into Herman there. Manu Kone again, Divock Origi playing around us a little bit. Max Stowe has to win the race and does, but look how they're flooding forward on us. These have only got three at the back. All the players are forward, and they've still managed to get one conceded and four goals scored as Pieringer that was meant for out wide. It finally reaches. Can we get another consolation? Hakan, not the greatest of passes, and it's not Hakan. It's just Channel Oglu. I don't know his first name. As we beat them 4-1. The only literal positive of that game is Pierre Ring has added one to his tally. Everyone's saying it was a disappointing game. As it was, and Werder Bremen's actually coming up the table a little bit. So uh, thanks for letting me know, Danny Latzler, that players aren't happy. As you always like to voice your opinion on that matter. 24, 29, the gap is still five points at least. Hoffenheim are up next. Our final played game of today. Or do we choose these or someone else? Who knows? Let's have a look who we've got. We've got Bayern Leverkusen and Union Berlin. I think I think I am going to play these. Leverkusen are higher up than them, and we've already played Union. I'm going to risk it with a simulation. We don't want to concede to Kramaric, although he's already got 17 goals. Let's try and stop him in-game. Changes to the team are made as Chanaloglu and Sanchez jump in as the wing-backs. We've got Pierre Inge back in. I'm pretty sure Pallison did start at the last one. The bench is roughly the same as well. Very good, very nice. Let's go for Hoffenheim. Let's see Hoffenheim's lineup, shall we? Match day 27, Bauman, me, Grilicic, and I already lost the five at the back. Let's have a look through this way. Bikakic, Vokt, and Kadadbrek. Raum, Baumgartner, and Rongier with Bibu. And Kramaric up front. Decent team. I always associate Schalke and Hoffenheim together. I don't know what it is, but my weird mind just goes colours. And, of course, they're both the blue and white team of Germany. Bochum's the same, but that's like a little darker shade, I'm pretty sure. As I, I don't know. I don't know what I see in it as Channel Oglu back into Palsen. Let's start brightly. I don't want another thrashing in this one. Zalazar with a very good touch there. Pierre Inger. He goes backwards into Channel Oglu again, round the corner. Salazar, edge of the box. Latza, why not crack it? Try to test the waters as Bibu has his back to us. He gets it out wide into Kadabarek. That's a hard name to say, that one. I'm pretty sure it's wrong. As Raum, Baumgartner, Rongier, Itakura is in the way. As Palsen to try and run away with this one. We've got Tarode and Pierre Inger in front of us. No one really making an option. We'll fizz it through to the slow coach as Salazar... Now out wide into Channel Oglu again. Can he whip an early ball in? That's a decent one. Toro arriving with the header. Good save, Bauman. Baumgartner into Raum here as he's just got away from us a little bit. Very good acceleration down this side. What's he going to do? He's going to give it backwards. Kadbarek, edge of the box. Bibu, Rongier through to Kramaric. Freisel. Good save. We stay alive as it's a corner to Hoffenheim though. It's been an even contest to start off with. Two big chances either side as Rongier goes edge of the box into Grilicic. Now across to Bibu, Raum, Rongier running into each other in the middle, boys. Defence. I trusted the same back line even though we conceded four. Needs to sharpen up. And it was a difficult decision as well as Kramerik goes to Bibu. Gets the run around him from Raum. Machdo stepping well out of his line. Very good as Pieringer into Toro. Pieringer again. That's a good pass in. Zalazar. We'll look out wide. Can we get runners into the box again? Channel Oglu can deliver a peach of a ball once more. Vokt at the near post. Or should I say, Vokt blocked, as that is a very nice 
little little tongue twister right there as Itakura through. Palson gets a block in. We're still doing well at ball retention. Just need to make a chance. As the one run that is from Simon Tarot. He's got an option here through one on one, and he was never missing that one. Simon Turo, the big man, has an important goal in the survival hunt. Brilliant. Just got it round the corner. Just run through. The keeper did not commit. Straight through him. 1-0. And Pierre Inger with a ball across into Latza. Latza to try and run down this line a little bit. And he's going to give it back to Antonio Sanchez. Very happy with that lead goal as Pierre Inger is going to get a chance now. Took a little deflection. And Zalazar, just before half-time, absolutely sends his man for a Subway sandwich as Pierre Inga down to Hakan. Oh, not Hakan. I keep saying Hakan. I need to learn his first name as he's a very good player and he tried to deliver. But half-time, 1-0 against Hoffenheim. If we would have won them last two games, would have still been in a big Europa Con Conference League fight. Come on, Max, spit it out. as Palsen straight on the ball into Latza to road. Goes backwards into Latza again. Antonio Sanchez through the middle. Let's get some good play together here. Zalazar out wide. Dip that into the box. That's a good ball into Pierre Ingus. Guffs the header. And Bauman with the pass. As I'm just thinking about the Tony Schwartz injury as well. It's always on my mind when good potential players get injured. Every game I'm just thinking they could have had an impact here. As um, I'm just thinking as well. £99 Tony Schwartz. No wonder he's torn his ACL. It must be a paperweight as Tiao gets it round the corner into Hakan, into Latza. Latza putting it down the line. If you're playing against big defenders in this league, you're bound to get injuries like that rather easily if you aren't the bulkiest as Kramerick puts a ball through to Bibu and he has scuffed it over. Now it's slightly getting to wave after wave from the away side, Hoffenheim. They're playing like the home as Latza through the middle. Pierre Inger's got a bit of space here. And oh, Bauman, unconventional. But has kept it out as it's telling us to switch the other wing back. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to deliver a ball into the box. Run near post. Can we cross this? That's a decent ball. Saved again, Bauman. Sneaking around the back as we'll get Dominic Drexler on for Salazar. Ball from Latza again. That's a decent one. Fell to Tarot. And he hit it straight at Ben Mee as we're going to win that header. We do win the ball. Itakura on to Tiao. Let's keep the pressure on them, shall we? Taro round to Pierre Inger. Drexler, beautiful flick from Pierre Inger. Wijan delivers an early ball but was terrible. Twitched Antonio Sanchez out now as we've made all the subs. Both strikers staying on. That means one of them will have to be rested for Leverkusen the way their stamina is. As we've got the pass off there into Pierre Inger. Now Latza, Taro. Chips it over the top for Aydin to try and run on to Bakakic. Deals well. The defence, five at the back's been very good, but that's not a good pass out. Latza, curling one. Bauman saves. Still falls to Aydin. Tries to drill it. And not a good idea because we've lost the ball here and they can counter-attack. Raum or Baum, whatever it was. Bad pass, but they've still got it back. Kramerick, can we try and get there? Palsen with a slide. We don't succeed. Jorginho. Back into Raum. Haven't got there. Jorginho does it in the last minute for Hoffenheim to keep their continental race alive. They've done it at the Veltins Arena to our chagrin. And again, that could be two vital points conceded. Every point is vi vi uh, valuable, should I say, to us at this moment in our season. Horrific one to concede. Oh dear. We draw the game, which, to be fair, at the start of the game, I might have taken after that 4-1 thrashing. But still, we deserve the win in that one. We just couldn't hold on. 12th in the Bundesliga. And that gap is going to be seized if them teams below us keep on winning. Stuttgart have. It's now four points. Every team is in this battle. What a relegation running it is as... Schultz has received a loan offer, a loan to buy from Austria Vienne. To be fair, he's 18 year old, 59 rated. I'm going to delegate that and I am going to accept the loan to buy. If they want to, they are free to do so as two simulated games. One against the team down below. If we lose that one, we are in trouble again. A Schultz loan agreement. Very nice. We will accept that. Try and get him some experience. And Weijan's now developed, you will see right here, to a central midfielder. He goes up a rating in the middle of the park. Thank you very much to the comment that suggested that. Looks like it can be a help as we'll make him a playmaker or 
Does he fit a box to box? I think he fits a box to box actually. And we will keep on going as we are 12th in the league. He's actually trained to be a Cam now as Schultze before his loan deal and Leverkusen is up next. Of course, a team familiar with the cams that they produce from their academy. Uh, Verts, Havertz, similar names right there. And I think I've got the team set for it. I've got more scouts coming in. Very nice. But not many changes, actually. We're actually quite fit after an international rest. As Weijan is in the middle. China Loglu is there. And I think that's the only difference. Pa uh, Palsen, yes. Very unlucky to drop onto the bench, but... Weijan looks decent in the middle of the park as Leverkusen are fourth, away from home. Verts is actually up front as it's another 4-1. Why are we getting thrashed? Why are we not doing this goal difference well? That is four in a row now we haven't won in. Schick, Terod, Verts, Schick and Frimpong. And into the next one, Union Berlin. What a big game this is now as Lats are saying he's happy with the dressing room. I'll say it's worked out well even though I don't think it necessarily has. As Union are in that relegation spot, they're the ones we lead by four points. It could go to one if we don't go well in this game, as the loan deal's gone through. I'll look in the academy before the game. I'm liking the academy today, and I think I've got another one to promote. Mohamed Shebe. We'll promote him. Maybe he actually stays at the club. Looks pretty decent. Don't want to go backwards, as that is pleasing the board. Good, good. Whip him up onto that loan list as Kamada picks up... Um, Player of the month. What's he talking about now? He wants better wages. Focus on your football for now, Daniel Kiera. You're not really a key player at the moment as well. As um, I was impressed, son, Mohamed. As it's a Mo Shaiba, I think I'll call him. Mo Shaiba. Not Mo Bamba. Mo Shaiba. Of course, not Mo Salah as 16th. We've got the financial report. We are going with for youth players at the moment. As we definitely need to change it after that last... Um, not a very great game, and I think I will try Weijan back at left wing back. Just give Chanaloglu a rest, move Palsen back in, and that's what we'll go with for that one. Yeah, we won't make any changes from the bench. Please do not let us down in this game. It is huge at the Veltins Arena. Please don't let us down. A 2-2 draw. Still not a win, but I guess it's okay. Becker, Pieringer, Tarod, and Schaefer... Who just got them a point. I guess it does keep the gap alive as it should be four points. Yep, still four points. Still four points. Only six from Cologne who are actually in the full relegation place. Not the playoff one as well. Our goal difference is okay. It's better than all them below us. Apart from two. But still it's not great with the way it's going. As I'll say, keep up the hard work. Drexler... Keep working hard. Got to motivate the boys at the moment as we've got the final episode up next, which can seal our um, survival. We've got Hamburg in that, Stuttgart, um, then Mainz, the Rieva Derby, and Augsburg. It's going to be a lively one tomorrow, but I'm going to make you wait for it. Also, tomorrow, big, big game. I'll do the clap now. Thank you guys for watching as the camera's now zoomed in. Look at that. Big game for Grimsby Town against Wrexham. Come on, the boys. As like, comment, share, and subscribe. Unfortunately, this is the end. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well if you want to see more from us in the future. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. In a bit. Everything and changes. peace.